the Tibetan Plateau is crucial to our understanding of the effects of climate change in Asia. The region effectively governs weather patterns across the continent. Uh, any changes to this region have impacts to the water supply, uh, to millions of people that rely on the water downstream uh, throughout South and Southeast Asia. I first travelled to the plateau in 2010 as part of my work documenting uh, China's wetlands crisis. This was also a project for the Pulitzer Center. Um, I was really struck by some of the environmental uh, stories that were happening in, in the area, such as uh, Qinghai Lake, the major lake in the region, which was reducing in size, uh, desertification, which was increasing in, in the area. Uh, and coupled with local Tibetan culture, which was incredibly beautiful, I knew that this was going to be a, a really uh, interesting place to, to photograph. After the completion of the project, I returned home and started to edit and look through the images that I'd captured while on the plateau. Um, I immediately knew that what I had seen was just a, just a fraction of the complete story that, I, that was happening there. I knew that I wanted to tell the story more in depth, so in 2012 I applied to the Pulitzer Center for help in returning to the plateau and, and to continue my work there. I returned in the autumn of uh, 2012 and spent one month traveling through the north and eastern parts of the plateau, uh, looking at some of the different issues associated with the changing climate there, such as melting glaciers, um, increased desertification and, and overgrazing. Uh, I was really interested in a region called the Sanjiang Yuan region, which contains the sources of the Yangtze, Yellow and Mekong rivers. I wanted to look at how the people who live on the plateau were being affected uh, by the, the current climate change there. Most of the people who live in the region are Tibetan herders. Uh, traditionally they have lived on the highland grasslands, grazing their flocks of sheep and, and cattle and, and moving with the seasons. Uh, what we're seeing now is that most of the nomads have actually been removed from the grasslands as, as policies have been implemented to supposedly protect the grasslands. Uh, what studies are revealing now, however, is that, not that it's not the nomads that have contributed to the deterioration of the grasslands, but it's climate change and, and rising temperatures. Um, but unfortunately, it's too late for many of the nomads if they, as they've already been resettled and moved into new relocation towns that are, that are now found across the plateau. One of the series from my, my travels is titled The Last Nomads of the Tibetan Plateau, uh, which is a portrait series. Um, it's a departure from my, my normal style of work, but I really wanted to document these, these incredible people and their, their beautiful culture, really, before it's, before it's gone. Um, there was a great humility and, and warmth from the nomads that I met. It's just sad to see the changing of, the, of this culture. I hope that these portraits resonate with people as they look upon uh, the people of what is a, a disappearing culture, uh, but also the people that are on the front line of, of climate change on the plateau. The plateau was a very challenging place to work. Um, most of the time we would hire a 4x4 off-road vehicle. Uh, we would drive off into the countryside, sometimes for days at a time, into very remote regions. Uh, accommodation would be very basic. Uh, very limited uh, amenities. The altitude was always a challenge. Uh, we were spending most of our time at around 4,000 meters, uh, sometimes up to 5,000 meters. So at that height, you really have to, you really can't move very fast, uh, especially with camera equipment. Um, I actually quite enjoyed this approach though, because it, it forced me to, to slow down, take my time, uh, which I think shows in, in some of the images that I made there. I think ultimately I hope that this work resonates with people who are unaware of the, the impacts of global climate change is, is having on vulnerable communities throughout the world. Um, people like the nomads on the Tibetan plateau are really the first to feel the effects, um, not only in the changing landscapes there, but also in terms of different policies that are implemented uh, to cope with climate change. It really is vital that we, we try to understand these implications uh, in a world that is changing, not only for the, the nomads on the plateau, but for all of us.